Peter, come on, get dressed. We're late for church. I don't want to go to church. I always feel like that priest has it in for me. Body of Christ. Body of Christ. Butt of Christ. Ah, Lois, trade me. No. Do you like crab? There's a knockout crab place right around the corner. What the hell are you doing? I'm using my knowledge of the local food scene to get this woman to go to bed with me. Well, now we know. I can taste what he eats. Jeez, I don't know what's going on with him. But I guess love does funny things to people. Look at Forrest Gump. Hi, Forrest. I know you just got back from Vietnam and you love me, but I'm gonna go run a train with this group of Black Panthers I just met. Okay, Jenny. Hi, Forrest. I know you came all this way to New York to visit me, but I'm gonna go do blow and have sex with a bunch of stockbrokers. Okay, Jenny. Hi, Forrest. Now that I have the most contagious and incurable disease known to mankind, I'll finally have pity sex with you. Okay, Jenny. And I'll mow the grass and raise the AIDS, baby. And women can do anything nowadays. I guess you're right. But it's not like it's the 1950s. So, I see you graduated number one in your class from Princeton. That's right. And I'm certified as an accountant and also have a law degree. That's all very impressive. We'll keep you in mind. Let's see. Pointy boobs, medium pointy boobs, not so pointy boobs. That's a shame. This is just one of those things he won't let up with. Like when he was guest hosting inside the actor's studio. Jeff Daniels, what is your favorite Care Bear? I, I, I don't know any of the Care Bears. Right, but if you had to pick one, who would be your favorite? Well, like I said, I'm not really familiar. You can just say the color. I know all the Care Bears. I, I don't know. The blue one. There's like 11 blue ones, Jeff. Are you here to dick around or you want to do inside the actor's studio? Do you know what I did last week? I time-traveled ahead to Christmas so I wouldn't have to wait all year for the new toys to come out. Wow, good timing, little fella. This just came out today. Uh, yeah, I kind of knew that already. Would you like to donate an extra dollar to the Quahog Food Bank? Oh, sure. And would you like to come home and clean my toilet while we're both doing stuff for each other? All right, fellas. Open mic at the library. Your first gig. Go get them. Hey, do I have time to get a drink at the water fountain where the water does not crest above the dispenser? Sure. I can taste the previous person's cough. Oh my God, you hear that, Quagmire? We're on our way. We gotta celebrate like girls in their 20s. <laughs> <laughs> oh. oh my God, we are so random. The nerve of your dad taking the fun out of Christmas like some kind of gluten-free Santa. Hey, hey, what's in these? I'm okay if it's like coconut flour, but anything with actual grains, I can't do. I'm not sure. Well, who is sure? Well, maybe I can stir up some quail or pheasant with my patented bird calls. Birds, quail, pheasant! Come on out, I'm a bird of the opposite sex who's interested in mating! <gasps> Did you hear that? We're gonna get laid! Billy, Billy, come on, don't be stupid. Peter, what are you doing? I'm watching this awesome show, Brian. See, they took all these colors, and they're making them all live together in a beach house. Now, the red one is sleeping with the green one, and the blue one thinks he's gonna have a career in music, and the yellow one is just a total bitch. Peter, that's just a channel that's gone off the air. And we'll be right back with more Color Bar Beach House after these messages. Oh. Ah, uh, this is my favorite part of the game, when two drunk guys, each holding a baby, get into a fist fight. You're stupid! No, you're stupid! Oh, now their wives are getting into it. They're gonna put their cigarettes in their mouths and bump boobs. You got no class, you bitch! No, you got no class! And now here comes security to kick out the wrong person. Come on, Miyagi, take that karate outside. We did it! Oh, man, this is my biggest accomplishment since my 1920 solo flight across the Atlantic. <laughs> Pierre Griffon! Incroyable! Don't look in there. Don't look in there. It's all craps. All right, we gotta put toilets in these things if we're gonna be in them for more than two hours. Ah, uh, Chip, I am gonna show you all kinds of cool stuff. My Hot Wheels, my lawn darts, even my new musket. Peter, what the hell are you doing? Lois, I thought I heard a noise downstairs. Go stall him for 20 minutes and pray that it's not too damp in here. 
All right, this is my home, and a man's home is his castle. Halt, wench! State your business. Peter, will you please put down the drawbridge? I got a car full of groceries. Hmm. Anything else? I also went to the video store and got Garfield, a tale of two kitties. Guess what? Uh, I hope this isn't about your podcast again. Why? Did you finally listen to it? Yeah, it was just 15 minutes of you listing all the hats you could think of. Sherlock Holmes hat, football man hat, angry working class Irish idiot hat, underwear because you're a cat in a laundry basket hat, Vietnamese the sun is my enemy hat, Halloween mask that I flip up to eat my candy hat, college guy wearing a pizza box hat, blue hat. I think that's all the hats. Trust me, you should take my advice. I mean, I'm the guy who told Michael Chiklis to wear tight shirts. I'll tell you anything you want. Just get your boobs out of my face. You know the difference between you and me, dirtbag? No matter how muscular I get, I will never be muscular. Now, the Catholics believe that as long as you accept Jesus before you die, anyone can get into heaven. Really? Anyone? I accept Jesus as my Lord and Savior. Yes! Finally, I'm above the law, like my 14th century ancestor, King of Denmark, Griffin. More wine! More women! More table! <laughs> oh, ah, ah, I'm having a heart attack. Is anyone at the table a doctor? I am. Come here, hurry, run. But the very far away doctor couldn't make it in time. And that's why here in Denmark, we have very small tables. We're supposed to stick together, like goatee guys at a barbecue. Do you mind if I stand next to you while we eat standing? No problem. Hey, let's go grab some good beer, even though we brought the bad beer. And these two barbecue scumbags formed a lifelong friendship until their deaths at the ripe old age of 52 in separate ATV accidents. Now you guys don't know nothing about staying up late. I used to pull all-nighters when I worked for that lesbian carpet cleaning company. Lesbians have regular carpets, too, you pervs. When you're done with that, can you help me plug the hole in this dike? I'm kind of a jack of all trades. Hey, help me fix this gash. Somebody's been having scissor fights on this thing. God, I can't get any peace and quiet in this house. Well, now you know how I felt at Mardi Gras. Hey, keep it down. Trying to get some sleep up here. Show us your boobs. My boobs? I don't think I... Oh, my! Jewelry! I wonder what I'll get for showing this. The rules of this city are very unclear. Trust me, Mom. I know what I'm doing. That's what your father said before he took that walk-in tour of Providence. This is where a homeless man ate the finger of another homeless man. This is where some teenagers beat a gay guy to death. This building used to be Irish. Now it's Cambodian. And this is where fake tour guides throw rocks and steal tourists' wallets. Oh, yeah, I read about this part on Yelp. Ah, <laughs> oh, I did it! I'm back! Oh, damn it, I left my chapstick in the past. Chapstick? With smooth lips, I will finally be able to be a mayor who kisses babies with confidence. Hey, cracked lips! You'll see! You'll all see! Wow, finally, something in my life that makes me feel special. I mean, except for when I had those cow waters. So, as you can see, the fiscal projections for the fourth quarter make this thing a slam dunk. Any questions? Not about my cow waters. All right, then, looks like we got ourselves a deal. This is cause for celebration. <laughs> 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 I don't care. I'm not driving. Peter, the map is a joke. You're being played for a fool, like George McFly. Hey, Lorraine, whatever happened to that guy Marty from high school? Don't know. Never saw him after the prom. Really? Sure you didn't run into him, oh, say, about 16 years ago? George, what are you talking about? I'm talking about the fact that our son, who you insisted we name after that guy Marty, looks exactly like him. You think I'm an idiot? That I wouldn't notice that our son is a dead ringer for the guy who fixed us up? Mom, Dad, I accidentally set fire to the living room rug. I am not going easy on him. <laughs>